you know, doing a little frizz there, messed up on the end, but that's okay. How you doing? Here's Earl on the Max Power channel. Got a new base. Like you were surprised. Nah. Um, I picked this up uh, on sale in my neighborhood guitar center. Um, it was uh, about half price uh, because it was used, but um, evidently uh, somebody was maybe a bit a little desperate. They had to just get rid of something, and uh, they got rid of something. Very nice. This is a Warwick. This is a Warwick uh, uh, rock bass Corvette. And it's four strings, as you can say. Nice little preamp in it already. And these wonderful MEC pickups. Uh, sort of like jazz pickups with a little extra. You know. uh, headstock, you can tell it. W right there. Uh, the Warwick sign. Warwick. This is my first uh, Warwick bass. And actually, I've been uh, pretty much uh, knocked in the head about these basses by a good friend of mine. Uh, who is uh, out in California, probably looking at this video right now uh, as we speak. My friend Tim Morrison. How you doing, Tim? Got one. Hello. See? Got a Warwick. All right. Okay. See me? Warwick. Okay. He's been jumping on me about these Warwick for a long time. And I've been kind of like avoiding him and avoiding him. But I thought I had, you know, I got enough bases, right? Right. But, um... I'm very impressed. Uh, this is a, a little more of a distinctive sound than uh, some of my uh, Squires excesses and uh, Music Man. It's, it's a different sound. I like uh, bass with a different sound. Uh, really nice. <laughs> uh, this is, um, as you can see, a long neck uh, 24 uh, fret. Uh, bass goes all the way up double octave and um, it's really nice. I'm very impressed by this bridge too. This is an interesting bridge. Uh, I'm sorry I'm not too detailed on it but it's uh, one of those rising bridges that really push it up. You know the strings really up like uh, a sort of bold like uh, some of the more classical instruments you know especially acoustic instruments you see in orchestras you know really pushes those um, the strings up to a level that can really be played and uh, this no doubt falls into the type of action right? this is a very very close action with little or no kind of fret buzz you know it's really really uh, a thin feeling really comfortable man you just fly over it easy to play and um, this neck here uh, I forget what they call it you probably have school me out there uh, this is called like a, a U-neck, and I know Fender used to have them too, kind of a really kind of a bowed U-neck, you know, that really, it's a, use a little, you can see a little thicker than some necks. And uh, actually, uh, I thought that would be a problem, but actually it, it gives me a more, a more of a sense of a, I don't know, how can I say, flatness uh, on this bass, uh, makes it feel really comfortable, um, and it, Kind of positions my thumb exactly where it's supposed to be. It kind of forces your thumb to be, you know, there right on time, you know, right there, you know, you know, under the uh, fretboard to give you a nice feel. I mean, I'm sure I could explain it a little better, but that's that's what I feel right now. Um, uh, wow. Um, for all of you Warwick uh, players out there, because uh, they got several styles. I mean, several things, something like this, Corvettes and others uh but the necks are pretty much attacked uh, or made in the same way so uh all you old players out there including you tim uh i finally understand what you're talking about that a very very nice bass uh yeah, i don't have the original price on a brand new of these one but all i can say is uh that i got this one for the nice little price of two uh, about 260 260 bucks i'm sure it's uh Probably double that, maybe 400 or more for this type of bass because it's a really good bass and really nice to hear. Uh, I don't know, I might dabble in a five string in this version too, depending on how it feels and uh, I'm sure it sounds good. So uh, yeah, the Warwick Corvette, uh, the Corvette is the style, they have several Corvette models. This is the rock bass, this is actually 
the more uh, inexpensive user-friendly base that they have out. They've got, uh, uh, you know, from this uh, up to ranging to bases that almost hit two grand uh, with the Warwick line. And uh, uh, very impressive, very impressive. I can't say they're too overpriced. I mean, there's some, uh, you know, attention to detail has been done with this. Uh, sorry about that bridge. I wish I had got a little more information on the bridge here you know, before I record it, but that's okay. Uh, anybody ask, um, just ask me, you know, on, on YouTube line, probably now, try to get information for you. Um, yeah, really nice base. Warwick, Corvette, uh, rock base, uh, wonderful tone, wonderful base, and yet very lightweight. Uh, couldn't be over eight and a half, nine pounds. Um, and uh, yeah, anyway, that's that's uh, the latest on the Max Proud channel. The uh, Warwick Corvette uh, rock base is a rock base line. Um, uh, uh, let me know uh, if you have this base or any Warwicks like it, and uh, let me know how you feel about it or about this base. And uh, I'll get back to you guys. That's it for today. As always, until next base. America.